Hey everybody, if you have seen rhetoric like this recently, you should know that it is entirely inaccurate and also profoundly misguided. Uh, to begin, there is no syllable of the Bible that says a rock was involved in the killing of Abel. It just says Cain killed Abel, and it uses the root harag. Next, there are three different accounts of Goliath's death in the Bible, and they all contradict each other. Uh, the earliest is preserved in 2 Samuel 21, 19, where it says a man named Elchanan killed Goliath, and it does not mention the means by which he killed Goliath. The next account is in 1 Samuel 17, 51, where it says that David ran up to Goliath, withdrew Goliath's sword, killed him, and then cut off his head. The verse just before that, verse 50, contradicts 51. It says that David killed Goliath with sling and stone without a sword in his hand. Now, if we look in the earliest manuscripts of this verse, which come from uh, the Septuagint, that verse is not present. Uh, it seems to have been added later, and the scholarly consensus is that it was a later addition to the text. There are a lot of differences between the Masoretic text and what we find at Qumran and what we find in the Septuagint in the books of Samuel. And what we find at Qumran and in the Septuagint frequently are earlier readings, at least according to the scholarly consensus. So of the three different accounts of Goliath's death, only one mentions a rock, and it is the latest of the three. Finally, the concern is not the existence of rocks. The concern is how easy it is for the wrong people to access rocks. Uh, and so this is misrepresenting even what the concern is. It is a straw man. It, the concern is precisely the fact that it is too easy for the wrong people to access rocks. And if you would like to see the data for yourself and see what scholars say about gun violence and gun availability and understand what the consensuses are, uh, there's a good resource that has been made available by Harvard University. So if you go to the Harvard Injury Control Research Center, you can see uh, under firearms research a number of different categories of research. And if you look in those, you will see lists of publications by Harvard scholars. So under homicide, we have different papers published by Harvard scholars and summaries of their findings. But the majority of research by Harvard scholars has been done on suicide. So under that section, you can find dozens of papers that demonstrate in agreement with the overwhelming scholarly consensus that uh, access to a firearm is the single strongest predictor of both attempted and successful suicide, and that mental health is not a salient factor here. There are also summaries of a number of papers on homicide followed by suicide, which at least in my state, Utah, is one of the biggest problems. There are also a number of papers correcting misinformation about DGUs, which do not number in the millions. That was a pretty laughable claim that came from uh, Kleck and Gertz back in the mid-90s that has been refuted by pretty much everyone who has come since. And if you're not interested by the research provided by Harvard's own scholars, I think one of the most valuable portions of this is a set of 21 different surveys that were sent out to scholars who work in gun violence in America to ask their opinions. So this is how you can see the very well-established and the overwhelming academic consensus that greater accessibility of guns leads to greater death across all three categories of death, homicide, suicide, and accidental death. So when people say it's the guns, they're not saying it's the existence of guns. They're saying it's the accessibility of guns, and that is simply an indisputable and well-established fact. So when you see this rhetoric, keep in mind it is not coming from people who care or are engaging or are aware of the facts regarding what the Bible says, regarding what the data indicate about gun violence, and regarding what the concerns about gun violence are. This is just rhetoric that is people engaging with caricatures that they have ginned up in their minds about what the data are, what the concerns are, and it's pure and utter nonsense.